be covering up gray hair. We're going to be turning gray hair into black hair. Now take a look at what I have in my hand right here. This is a hair paste, basically a natural homemade dye that can turn your gray hair black. It could also take care of the hair roots if they're growing out, if you have previously dyed your hair. So in this remedy, I'm using simple ingredient, but very effective. So if you're looking to turn your gray hair into black, beautiful shiny glowing hair and guess what there's a bonus to this because the ingredients i use in this will also help to strengthen the hair follicles it will help your hair to grow faster giving you shiny bouncy black and just glossy looking hair so if you're interested in today's video continue watching as we get older, the pigment cells in our hair follicles gradually die. When there are fewer pigment cells in our hair follicles, that strand of hair will no longer contain as much melanin and will become a more transparent color like gray, silver, or white as it grows. As people continue to get older, fewer pigment cells will be around to produce melanin Eventually, the hair will look completely gray or white. To make the hair dye for covering your gray hair, I'm going to be using charcoal. I'm using food grade charcoal, and this is my package. And I'm using about two tablespoons of the charcoal. Now charcoal is very beneficial to your hair. So not only will the charcoal turn your gray hair black, but it will also help to grow your hair. Active charcoal is great for penetrating deep in the ear follicles and cause your hair to grow thicker, healthier, and shinier. So you're getting double benefit from using the charcoal to cover your gray hair. Our next ingredient is lemon and the citric acid from the lemon is going to help to activate the charcoal. It's going to create a really thick dye that is going to stay on the hair. It's going to completely cover your hair and it's also going to help to keep the dye on the hair much longer. Our next ingredient is coconut oil and the coconut oil is using this to help to moisturize the hair. It's going to help the hair to be shinier and when used with the active charcoal is also going to help the ear color to stay much longer on your hair. So here I have about two tablespoons of the charcoal. Now guys, when you're preparing your charcoal mix, it's best for you to use a glove, especially when you're gonna apply this to your hair, because the black is gonna stain. It will stain your nails, it will stain your clothing and all of that. So cover yourself just as if you're using a regular hair dye, okay? So you definitely need a pair of gloves to apply this to your hair. So now I'm gonna use about two tablespoons of our lemon juice. If you do not have lemon juice, lime is also going to work wonders in this recipe, okay? So no lemon, use some lime. I'm using a half of a large lemon and this is going to give me roughly about two tablespoons of lemon juice. Now remember, charcoal is very absorbing, so it's just basically going to suck up this lime juice really, really fast. So you want to move quick. And that's also one of the reasons why the coconut oil is important in this recipe. Now, as you can see, how quickly the charcoal just sucked this lemon juice up. So we're gonna move on to the coconut oil. Now for our coconut oil, I'm starting with two tablespoons of the coconut oil. And then we're gonna mix this in a nice paste. Any two tablespoon is enough. Now, if you're just covering your root, this amount is great. If you have longer hair, just double up on the ingredients, okay? 
And this amount is just great for short, medium length hair. So for longer hair, double or triple up on this ingredient. So just mix your hair dye in a nice paste. Just mix well. And this hair dye you can make and put away for a couple of days or for weeks. It's not going to go bad. The lemon, however, is the only thing that's going to let this spoil. So you could keep this in your refrigerator for about two weeks or so. Okay? Now once you mix well, your hair dye is ready. So to apply your ear dye, you're going to put your gloves on like I'm showing here. This is for demonstration purpose only. And once you put your gloves on, you're now ready to apply the mask to the hair. So to begin, you're gonna wash your hair before you apply the mask. Wash your hair and towel dry. After you towel dry your hair, you're just gonna coat the hair. If you're doing the root, you're just gonna rub this on the root, part the hair in small portion and apply the ear mask to the root. If you're doing the entire hair, you're gonna just apply it like you're using a mask on your hair. Now, once you apply it to the hair, you're going to leave it there for at least 30 minutes or more. You can also choose to go under a hair dryer with this for about 20 minutes. Now, after you apply it to the hair, cover your hair with a steam cap or a shower cap. Now, you can choose to just leave it for 30 minutes or you could go under a hair dryer with this. Sit for about 20 minutes. Now, once you're done, rinse your hair and you just need to rinse with some conditioner and that is the reason why you're going to wash your hair before. Now, for the first couple of days, this might stain so make sure to cover your hair at night with a soft silk cloth now this will keep your gray hair dark for about two weeks so after two weeks you're gonna do the process over again so continue to use this hair dye it's a natural form of a hair dye with basically no chemical so it's healthy and it's great for most hair okay so go ahead and give this hair dye a try natural homemade hair dye for turning white gray hair black okay and look how black see guys this is just awesome So there you have it. What are you waiting for? Go ahead and try this wonderful recipe now. Guess what, guys? Your comments and a little thumbs up is always welcome. Comment, comment, comment. Share the video, give it a try, and come back and leave another comment. Now, if this was the first time watching, I'm sure you want to see more of these videos. If you do, you could subscribe. Look below, you're going to see the word subscribe. Just click on it and you will be subscribed. Also, if you click on my face below the video, it will take you to my channel page. Page. on my channel page you will find a wide variety of videos just click on video and scroll and search for what you like thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye bye <laughs>